Hey, what's up, guys? MGH here, and welcome back to another episode of the Arsenal Career Mode on FIFA 16. Now, in the last episode, we made a huge signing, and you guys are loving it. We bought Telemans for £8 million. Pounds. 30 grand a week. I mean, it has to be the bargain of the century. So in the next game against Stoke, we are going to be starting him. We're going to see how he plays in that Cazorla role. We're going to give him a break. Why not? So there is the lineup, guys. And remember, my target for this game is to score more than one goal. Even if it means I don't necessarily get a clean sheet. If I can score three or four, I'd be so happy with it. But they're not an easy team to beat. Stoke have a very strong physical team. And I don't like playing against them in real life at all. But in FIFA, it might be a bit different. I think we might be a bit too much for them today. Shakiri, Ornautovic, Bojan, Juf. They've got a very nice side there. Okay, let's do this. Ultra attacking, boys. We are going to be going for more than one goal. What a ball that was from Oxlade. Inside. Go on, Alexis. Oh, my God. Three minutes in. This is not happening. I just scored an absolute beauty. That was incredible. Oh, man, this is just... Look at this. I don't think he meant to flick it up. Oh, <laughs> I think that beats the one that Oscar scored against me. The way it goes into the top... Actually, no. No, no. Oscar's was incredible. I'll give him that. But that is not far off. What a way to open up the game. Telemans. Lovely pass up to Alexis. We are on fire, guys. Back to Telemans here. Over the top. Go on, Oxlade. Go on. Head it in. Ah, oh, such a shame. If that got to Aubameyang, we might have scored two. Oh, shit. They've got behind me here. I was not expecting that run. It's a good cross as well. Ooh, Bojan. He's got to score that. Here's Telemans. That's a lovely ball. Look at that. He's 18 years old. What is wrong with him? That is ridiculous. He's like a freaking alien. Get the ball in. It's not a bad ball. It almost fell to Oxley chamberlain On out of it, should not be missing that. That was terrible defending. Oh, here they come again. Oh, Murtasaka. Oh, Murtasaka. Well played. Oh, no. Oh, how have they not scored there? Oh, Telia, man. Stop it. Stop it. That is ridiculous. Go on, Aubameyang. Oh, sure cross. I still can't believe that pass, though. Bend it away from the keeper. Oh, hang on. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, if that had gone in. Oh, it's another great ball. This time it's Coquelin inside for Alexis. Over the top. No, so close, but we're still going to have that. Right, bring it back. Lovely. Back post. Go on, son. Oh, we're getting so close to this second goal. Come on, just before half time. Go on, Murtasaka. Oh, so close. But that is it, guys. We're playing some really good stuff here. Right, what are we going to do with this? Let's get it out to Oxlade Chamberlain with the driven pass. Good first touch. Normally, the first touch is awful from them. And we're going through here. Go on, Ozil. For God's sake, man, I can't score a second goal. Oh, he's giving it away. Pull it back. Come on, Ozil. Oh. Oh, my God, please. Head that down. Well, I'm still searching for that second goal, so I'm actually going to be bringing on Ramsey and Welbeck up front. Well, Bamiyang's been a little bit quiet again today, so who knows? Time will tell whether that was a really good signing or not, but so far, one goal isn't quite good enough. Let's see how Welbeck gets on instead. We'll get the ball into him as soon as we can. Oh, hang on. Ramsey's through instead. Oh my god! Is that the fastest goal I've ever scored after a substitution? That is ridiculous! Telemans with some lovely work deep in midfield there. Lovely pass in from Alexis. And what about that finish? Well, we still have our clean sheet intact. But at the moment, I think... Oh god, we're struggling a little bit at the back. But I think that's because most of my players are getting a bit tired now. Oh, hang on. Oh, hang on. Go on, Welbeck. Go on. Run at it. This is where I needed Aubameyang, for God's sake. He just didn't get in any good positions. Get it back in. Go on, Oxlade. 3-0. Oh, my God. But anyway, guys, it is a 2-0 win. I will take it. Finally, we score more than one goal. And we still haven't conceded. So we're doing really well right now. I think world class is something I'm getting used to now. So who knows? Maybe we'll pop it up to legendary at some point soon. Right, so it's a new week. We can now retrain some players. I think I'm going to take out one of these. I think... Again, I want his tackling to be a little bit better. So we're going to drop Telemans' second drill there. And we're going to put Oxlade back in now that he's back from playing for England. I'm thinking I'm going to improve his passing. I think it's time that we did that. So hopefully it will help him grow a little bit faster as well. Because he's already very good at dribbling and things like that. And he got a D. God damn it. But Bellerin's grown nicely there. He's already almost 77. So again, just some really good progress with these players. 
And now, guys, it's time for the first Champions League fixture. I'm really excited to get the Champions League underway. Recently won it with Bournemouth. Can I do it again with Arsenal this time around? Who knows what's going to happen. But this is the lineup. I've got Walcott coming in at right wing. We've got Ramsey playing at Cam because once again, Ozil is tired. I think I might have to train his stamina, guys. It seems like in this game, stamina depletes much faster, which is quite annoying. Arteta also comes in there and Gabriel as well. So it's a very strong lineup. More than good enough to beat Club Rouge. Now, although they may be the weakest team in the group, they've definitely got some little hidden gems in their team. So there's a few players to look out for. I think one of their strikers is from Belgium, and he's an absolute monster. So, yeah, we still will have to be careful here. Here goes Alexis. Nice run. Up to Cazorla. Hang on. Oh, go on. Walcott's there. Hits it. Oh, my God, what a start that would have been. It actually almost crept in. Oh, Aubameyang. Oh, oh. Oh, Aubameyang. Rebound. I didn't even think it was a rebound. I looked away. Oh, shite. That was so close for Aubameyang. Lovely quick feet there. Yet another corner. I feel like I get them all the freaking time. And Walcott's there. Why didn't he let Aubameyang do that? That's why I brought in Aubameyang. He's good at everything. Not only is he good with his feet, good at shooting. His heading is a lot better than that. Oh, that's a nice pass. That is a very nice pass. I am through. Surely this is going to be 1-0. Come on, Aubameyang. How? How is he missing these chances? Or more importantly, how am I missing these chances? Oh, hang on. There's another chance for Aubameyang here. Pass it in. 1-0. And it's Walcott. Up to Aubameyang. His pace is just lightning there. And it's actually a very nice pass across. So, well played. It doesn't matter who gets the goal, I guess. And that is 1-0 just before half-time. There we have it. Right, let's get into the second half now. We're still searching for that second goal. It will come. Just be patient here. Here's Ramsey. Over here to Arteta. Oh my god, there's no runs. There's no runs. There we are. It's more like it. Go on, Arteta. He's through. Hit it. He's too slow. He's just too slow, man. Cazorla. Over here to Alexis. Hit it. Oh, Alexis Sanchez. How did he squeeze it in? Look at that. The angle was so tight. That's what she said. Not really. But anyway, 2-0, guys. We are starting to score more goals now. Oh, lovely walk up. Oh, lovely. Oh, 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 it's lovely. It's Aaron Ramsey. Lovely bit of play. He's got such good feet in this game. Look at that. Oh, that is such a nice goal. 3-0. Here we go. Here we go. Lovely through ball. Come on, Walcott. Inside for Ozil. Can he get there? He's got fresh legs, remember? That's a pen. That is an absolute penalty. That is gutting. I wanted to get him on his left foot and curl it into the corner, but... I'll take the penalty instead, I guess. We're going to go top right corner this time. Let's see where we get it. Oh, it's hit the bar and gone in, but that makes it four, guys. And that is full time. What a way to kick off the Champions League for Arsenal. Really happy with that result. Much better than a 2-0 loss like we did in real life. But there you go, guys. And now we've got Chelsea in the Premier League. Oh, God. So it is the big one, guys, against Chelsea. And you probably think I'm mad by looking at that team. Yes, Flamini is playing. Cazorla's knackered. He's got basically half fitness right now. He's going to play against Chelsea and he's going to score two and win us the game single-handedly, all right? That's what's going to happen. Otherwise, Mertesacker's back in as well. Oxlade on the right. Aubameyang is going to go up front. I still have faith in the guy. Here we are at Stamford Bridge. It's first against second. If they win, they will go level with us. If we win, we go six points clear of Chelsea, which would be incredible. But this for me, is the hardest fixture of the season. Going away to Chelsea is so, so difficult. Um, but we still haven't conceded. I forgot about that. Chelsea have conceded five. We haven't conceded. But I think today probably is the day we will probably concede. I'm saying probably too much. We should probably get into the game now. So don't forget, guys, they beat us in the Community Shield. Oh, my God, what have I just done? What have I just done? Oh, my God, check against this old club. What a save. Anyway, as I was saying, we lost this game in the Community Shield, so I'd very much like to win the game in the Premier League. Basically, the opposite of what happened in real life. We won the Community Shield, but then they beat us in this fixture. Let's swap that around. Here's Flamini, the hero from White Hart Lane. Pass it up to Alexis, not Ozil, apparently. Get the ball in again. That's a really good ball. That was that was a dangerous ball. Is that it to Flamini? Smack it! Oh my God, can you imagine? I would laugh my head off if I scored like that with Flamini. Honestly, the game against Tottenham, he was a hero, but maybe not today. Here he is again. It's a nice header. Here's Oxlade. Back to Flamini. Turn. Pass inside. Not Murtisaka. I don't want him there for Christ's sake. 
Here's Diego Costa. What an absolute beep. And Oscar's gone through there. That should be the penalty. That should have been a penalty. I've got away with one there, lads. Ah, shit. Don't let him get the cross in. No, Flamini, stop him. No. No, 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 no. Come out. Oh, my God. He's missed it. How has he missed that? Right. Okay, then. So, nil-nil at the bridge. We still haven't conceded. And to be honest, guys, I think at the moment I would probably take a nil-nil. I am just chasing this game, guys. Like, literally, trying to get the ball from Chelsea is like trying to get blood from a stone. It's so... Well, it's impossible. It's absolutely impossible. I can't do anything. Hang on. Hang on. They've given it away here. Nope, they haven't. Terry's got it. Here come Chelsea again. As Piliqueta into Hazard, who's had a quiet game, to be honest. Here's Ramirez. Mertesaka to the rescue. No, no. Here we go. It's Aubameyang versus Cahill. Who's going to win? It's Aubameyang. He's through. Please. Please finish it. Why? Why can't I score with him? I'm so close. Oh, that's a nice ball. Look at this. Come on, Sanchez. Oh, it took too long with the touch. No, that could be one of my only chances. Right. Corner here from Ozil. It's Coquelin. Oh, my God. It's Aubameyang with another bicycle kick. I can't believe he's trying these. Oxlade's come out with it here. Right, Aubameyang, this is your moment. This is your moment. Go. Be free. Be free to run at the defenders. Fake shot inside. He's still going. Pass it across. Come on, Alexis. No. How did I not... Wait, what? They've given a free kick against me. If anything, he was being held back, you bastards. Nil-nil's probably fair. In fairness, I think that's probably a good result for both of us. It's going to stay three points between us, which I will take for now. And that's the first game that we haven't won. So... Still unbeaten, still haven't conceded a goal. We're looking very strong. And to end the episode, we're going to do some training before the next game, which is another cup game, which will be at the start of next episode. And we've got some nice growth there on Chambers and Bellerin. Telia Mans' slide tackle has gone up as well, which is always good seeing as he's going to be playing a little bit of a deeper role. But that's it, guys. I want to say again, thank you so much for watching these videos. Every single one of you seems to be enjoying it, so I'd really appreciate it. If you could leave a nice comment and tell me that you're enjoying it, I love reading through it. And while you're down there, if you could smash that like button, that'd be really, really appreciated. And make sure you subscribe to the channel if you're new around here, and you will not miss an episode. They are going up every day, so I really appreciate it, guys, and I will see you for another episode tomorrow.